day two at Hitech Port in Istanbul. The exhibition is attended by all major Turkish defense companies. Some of them are even unveiling new products for the first time. This system that you see uh, relatively behind me is a, a system that, that is launched here at this high-tech port exhibition and we're proud to display it here. Uh, essentially, it comprises a set of Aselsan sensors and also countermeasures specifically tailored against unmanned air systems threats. Uh, the main sensor you see on the top that is currently rotating is the Ajar surveillance radar, which is the primary sensor to intercept uh, unmanned air systems threats. Once the threat is intercepted by the radar, the electro-optical suite you see to the right of the radar starts to track the target. Uh, this is used for target tracking and also for target identification. Uh, finally, on the left side, the black antennas are the jammer antennas. Uh, here we use the electronic countermeasures capabilities, which is essentially jamming the unmanned air system. Uh, we jam the GPS. We jam the command control, and we also jam the data link. So essentially, the unmanned air system turns into an uncontrolled air system in that it has no control, it has no connection with the operation center, and is no longer a threat. Today, I would like to introduce you MPT-76 infantry rifles. This infantry rifle, we can say so much things, but the most important thing is that this is the first national rifle of Turkish history. And uh, I will introduce it part by part, and I will start with the barrel. This barrel is so special barrel with the cold forging method it's producing. And we have a flash hider on it, and this flash hider reduces the force acting on your shoulder. This is a very modular design with the retractable buttstock. I will rotate the buttstock, pull it, and lock it. We have 12 different stage for different height of uh, users. And the other thing is that we have a magazine with the polymer design, and it can easily strip out with pushing the button like that. And we have a handle on it with pushing this button. It converts the bipod, and you can use it as bipod. And this design had quadrant rail system. You can attach whatever you want on it. And this optical system on it is another Turkish-made optical system. And if you want, you can attach night vision systems, thermal vision systems, and laser pointings, and anything else on the, this optical system. This hand support system is the another special design of Turkish engineers. With pushing this button, you can slide it both forward and back. And while the terrain condition, you can easily, with touching this, it's, it's comfortable design and not to disturb your hand. The other thing is that this has a mechanical system, front side and rear side. And the another design is the traditional AR-15 system, is the this cooking system. In the dark conditions, the enemies can realize your voice, so you can slide the system, push it, and then by pushing the boost button, it silently can be cooked, okay? And what can else? It's 7.62 millimeter caliber, as I said. The general conditions, it has effective range of 600 meter distance, and we have three different type of barrels with the 12 inch, 16 inch, and 20 inch height of barrel. So if you aim to shoot, for example, 800 meter distance, you can use a semi-automatic version of this rifle, and you can aim 800 meter distance. This 
UAV is a tactical UAV, which we have indigenously designed and developed and manufactured in Turkey. Uh, and it flies over 22,000 feet for about 20 hours. And it can carry surveillance cameras or as well uh, the, the rockets and missile that you, you see. It's, it's already in use. It's been uh, 24 hours, seven days in use in the eastern part of Turkey. Well, first of all, this UAV is the, is the first UAV which was designed and manufactured under uh, NATO standard of uh, a waterless standard, which is going to be more and more important for the next generations because UAVs are going to be flying over the civilian zone. In order for any platform to fly over civilian zone, uh, your security standards must be very high. And this the main advantage and unique advantage of this uh, UAV is that this is designed and manufactured under this standard. Therefore, we are ready to have this uh, new use of the UAVs which can fly even over the civilian zones. Well, we are now showing our brand new product. This is called Retinar Opus. Uh, Retinar is a perimeter surveillance system. Uh, it is composed of a radar turning uh, at the top and a combination of day and thermal, uh, night, day and night camera systems. Uh, it's, it has some uh, brand new innovative features. Uh, what it does is it makes a perimeter surveillance by means of radar waves and it detects targets. And the, the detected targets are queued to the camera systems for identification. Uh, however, mostly some, some instruments do, uh, already does this. However, what we do is we put all the system on a single axis, coaxial basis. Uh, we use a very uh, compact, low size, weight and power radar system. Uh, this is uh, with the help of a millimeter wave technology, which is a very sophisticated, uh, very accurate, uh, very high resolution uh, system. Uh, the, the radar, uh, while it is turning, it, it can look 360 degrees or as in a segment. Uh, it detects the targets. Target means actually moving objects very slowly, even very slowly moving, like a fox, like a rabbit, uh, or a human being, or a crawling uh, human being. Uh, it uh, detects the targets, but still you may not be able to understand whether, whether it, is a, it is a human being or animal or a hostile or friendly. So you look with the camera. If you cannot see with the camera, if the camera is deceived by means of, for example, terrorist countermeasures uh, measures like wet suites or umbrella they can open up, or the weather may be foggy, smoky, the radar can turn to the target and it makes some sophisticated microdoppler analysis on the target. And it shows you whether it's a human being or animal. And we have done several field tests with the, uh, with the operators, with the customers, and uh, the, it's, the system is very, very successful.